I found this multi-tool with all these bits while gliding around on my Segway yesterday. So I'm gonna take it apart. This side is circular, but I found a bit that will undo this. So we're gonna start by removing the screw. You can see there's a lock washer. Using my thumb at the bottom to retain this other side so it doesn't rotate. You can see also a lock washer on this side. All right, upon removal of the upper anodized orange bar, we see the tools have rings. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove all the tools one at a time. And there's a ring between each tool. We're gonna to clean all these rings and the tool parts. We'll clean everything up nicely here. Pretty greasy. I gave it a bath with some hot water and soap, but it had been living outside along the I-90 trail for some time. So, you know, God only knows what kind of um, gunk is built up inside there. So, each part has a, and then so it is the main shaft, and we're going to remove the main shaft like that. Set it with the other one. They're virtually identical. So there are all the parts. I cut a strip of some 100 grit sandpaper. And I'm going to cut it in two. I'm going to gently work all these parts. Time lapse action now. Okay, so there is the tool now. After some sanding, looks a lot better. You call that a light restoration. Not bad. This is a free tool I found on the I-90 trail. So it folds up like that. I just put it in a pocket in my backpack. It's cool. It has metric parts. You can read 5mm, 6mm, 8mm. Big one. You got a star bit. I don't know what this is. It's a Phillips blade. Smaller three or four, two or three, three millimeter, two millimeter. Little wash and warm soapy water and uh, a reset with some sandpaper. Now it seems to work. This is an oddball. That one doesn't like to close with the others as well, but it's now my new multi-tool I'll keep in my backpack. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Just to show you, my hands got pretty dirty doing that. The sandpaper I used from 1995 still works.